All right, today we're gonna to be going over labeling, preparing, and passing medication. For video purposes, I have them color-coded so you can see them. Normally, they are clear solutions. All right, we're gonna start by labeling for our sodium chloride or normal saline. That's what my circulator is going to give to me first. So I have my marker and my labels. And I'm going to put my label and place it on the container to which I want my circulator to dispense my solution. So my normal saline. Now she's going to dispense that for me after we've checked the safety seal. That's off, back away from my table. And we've checked what it is and the expiration date. So they're all good. So now she's gonna open it up. I'm poor. Back away, back away. Thank you. Great job. So now we have labeled, we've received. Now we're gonna prepare. So we have our septo, squeezy little bulb, and most of them have two little finger grips. So the best way would be hold them, squeeze, fill, let it fill up, squeeze, let it fill up. squeeze and let it fill up and now it's a fully filled the septo filled with saline best practice would also be to label your septo so now my septo also is labeled with what is in it which would be normal saline sodium chloride however you want to write it. Next, we're going to be receiving a medication. So my circulator is going to show me. Hold it up so I can see it. So I can see that this is 1% lidocaine with no epi. So the 1% is my strength, lidocaine and my expiration of July 22. So while she's opening and getting my lidocaine ready, I am going to make a label. I'm gonna place the label, watch out, on my medicine cup to where I want it to go. Let's see, is it gonna go? 1% Lido with my expiration date. She's checked it, I've checked it. She's reading my label, making sure it matches what the container says. And then she's going to pour it into my medicine cup. Oh, pour. Great job. Thank you very much. So now I have my 1% Lido. And then next, what are we getting next? This is 2% lidocaine with epinephrine. And the expiration date is November 27. So now I'm going to write my label, 2% lidocaine with epi and it's one to two hundred thousand is the strength of the epi with my expiration date of 11 27 
place that on my medicine cup. My label, I have 2% lidocaine with epinephrine, one to 200,000, and my expiration date. So now my circulator is going to pour for me. Excellent. And last but not least, we are getting, my circulator is going to show me the bottle. It's a 50 milliliter bottle of half percent Bupivacaine or Marcaine with an expiration date of 327. So I'm going to write half percent marking. Expirations 327. Going to put that label on the cup. Half percent marking 327. Circulator is going to dispense. Oh, sorry, this one's a vial that I need to draw from. So I'm going to take my label. And I'm going to put the label on my syringe. So now my syringe has the same label. I'm going to take my red blunt fill needle, attach it, twist. I'm going to pull my lid off. My circulator has wiped the cap off with um, alcohol. She's going to hold the bottle inverted, so upside down. Back away. And I'm going to puncture the bottle. Hold it tight. And I'm going to draw 10 milliliters of my half percent. So now I have that. I'm going to put my cap on, take it off. Now you can see I have my half percent marking and I have my 10 milliliters. Now this one would already be prepared. So to get it ready for surgical use, I'm going to take my hypo and I'm going to take my opening and I'm going to attach it to the lower lock of the syringe and twist to secure it. So now I have all my medication, half percent marcaine plain, 2% lidocaine with epinephrine, 1 to 200,000, and 1% lidocaine, plain. For surgery, the surgeon has asked for a 60-40 mix of, oops, sorry, of 1% lido, plain, and half percent Marcaine plane. So he wants 60% being the Lido and 40% being the Marcaine. So, and he wants 10 cc's of it. So I have my 10 cc finger controlled syringe. 60% of 10 would be 6. So I'm going to fill my syringe to 6 with the 1% lidocaine plane. So now I have a little air bubble. I'm just going to prime it out, make sure I get exactly six. And a little more, so I'm going to drop some back in. Right at six, you measure by the top of your plunger. And then he wants 40% of half percent, half percent marking plane. So 40% would be the remaining four milliliters. K 
careful not to overdraw. I pull. Right to the 10. Okay? So I have a mix. Now I have to label. You should typically label before, but I jumped ahead of myself on this one. So we're going to do 60 40. 1% Lido and half percent marking. Put that on my syringe. So now we have 60 40, 1% Lido and half percent marking. Again, we're going to take our hypo and we're going to attach it to our syringe, twist, ready to go. You always want to make sure your syringes are free of air, no air bubbles. Last, we have our one milliliter TB syringe, tiny little guy. He wants half a milliliter of 2% Lido. So I fill it up. Half cc of 2% Lido. I'll need just a little more. So this is a one milliliter syringe, small little tiny TB syringe. Half a milliliter would be 0.5 on the syringe. That's all they want. Labels are very important. You should always label everything prior to getting it administered to your table. All right? All right, so now we're gonna go to passing. When we're passing medication, you must always hold it, pull the cap off, and you're going to, away from you, make sure your fingers are up away from the needle, and you're going to pass it into your surgeon's hand and remove your hand quickly, and then they'll move, all right? So again, Mommy. hold it. Cap off, pass, and that's it. All right, I'm only recapping because I'm working with children here. Now, if you were passing the Acepto, if you hold it this way, it's gonna leak. So when you pass it, you're going to hold it at the top and you're going to put the ball into their hands so that way they can easily start squirting. Okay, again, a septo, got it, hold it at the top, into their hand firmly, make sure they have it, let go, and then they're going to use it. Squeeze out. And then they're gonna hand it back to you because it's oh so empty. So again, you're going to grab, squeeze, Put it into your saline, fill it up, and hand it back. And they're going to use it. Perfect. Now, when it comes to medication, you have to keep track of what you've used. So it's also our responsibility to keep track of what's used. So I have my medication, it's my 60-40 mix. I'm gonna hand it to the surgeon. They're gonna use what they're using at the field. I'm gonna get all my stuff ready. And then next they said they wanted the 2%. So I'm taking this back from them and I'm gonna hand the surgeon the 2% Lido plane. While they're using that, I'm gonna look at what they used 
they only used one cc. So I'm going to write that one cc was used. Okay, now they're done with their 2%. So I'm going to look. It was at the half. Now we're at the three. So that means they used just about 0.2%. 0.2 cc's of the 2%, so 0.2 of 2% lido. Oh, and surgeon, you wanted the half percent as well, so here you go. Okay, so when they handed it back, I'm at the three, which means they used seven cc's of half percent marking plane. So it's always your job to keep track, whether it's on your table, if you keep your glove paper, whatever you have, keep track of what you've used because your circulator is gonna ask you at the end. You need to know how much was used Sometimes they're going to ask how much saline was used for blood loss reasons, all right? So you need to remember all of that.